It is the east winds that bring what ships do not desire. The highly advanced Chinese ballistic missiles that the West fears and terrifies America. How did China design them so that? The accuracy range is very high and the error rate is almost zero. What is happening in the ballistic missile market? Is it an arms race to destroy the world and its end? Or is it to show the world's superpower? Today we will talk about the pride of the Chinese ballistic industries. The Chinese Ballistic Missile DF-21D The Daily Mail headlined The Chinese president warns that no one can stop unification with Taiwan in a terrifying threat on New Year's Eve. The Reuters headlined Xi says no one can prevent China's reunification with Taiwan. Chinese President Xi Jinping said in his New Year's speech on Tuesday that no one can stop China's reunification with Taiwan, issuing a clear warning to what Beijing considers pro-independence forces inside and outside the island of 23 million people. In the past year, Beijing has stepped up its military pressure near Taiwan, sending warships and aircraft almost daily into the waters and airspace around the island, in what Taiwanese officials see as a creeping effort to normalize China's military presence. A Shark Newspaper Headline The accuracy of Chinese missiles is causing a headache for the United States. The U.S. military said in a recent report that the Chinese military has improved the accuracy and range of its intercontinental ballistic missiles, which are capable of carrying nuclear warheads. The report, which was reported by Bloomberg, added that the DF-11 short-range ballistic missile was originally designed to hit targets up to 300 kilometers away, but newer models have extended their ranges to more than 700 kilometers, according to a military publication titled Chinese Tactics issued Monday by the Federation of American Scientists, an organization working to enhance national security. According to the report, the DF-11 missile can use conventional and nuclear warheads, and its accuracy has increased to allow for long-range precision strikes, and the mobile launchers allow for rapid launch and reloading. The U.S. military is trying to reshape its forces to focus on presence in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and prepare to confront China by coordinating the efforts of the air and naval forces. The new publication provides a list of the longest range and most accurate Chinese missiles that U.S. forces and Taiwan could face in any conflict. In addition, the latest DF-15-16 missile has a range of 600 to 1,000 kilometers. According to the U.S. military report, the Chinese use advanced ballistic missile countermeasures, such as maneuvers and decoys. According to Bloomberg, the report, which covers many other Chinese military capabilities, is the latest to depict the military power of a country that U.S. leaders consider the main threat, driving U.S. strategic planning and spending. Last July, satellite images revealed that the Chinese government was digging a new site for what appeared to be 110 nuclear missile launch pads, 1,200 miles, about 2,100 kilometers, west of the capital, Beijing. This underground base, according to the American newspaper, the New York Times, is the second of its kind to be revealed by analysts studying satellite images in recent weeks. This revelation expresses a huge expansion in China's nuclear weapons arsenal, while representing a Chinese desire to possess a superior economic and technological power indicating that it is now ready to possess a nuclear arsenal the size of Washington's or Moscow's. In early July, the United States expressed its concern following reports that China was strengthening its nuclear arsenal, calling on Beijing to enter into dialogue to avoid a new arms race. The American ambassador to the Conference on Disarmament in Geneva, Robert Wood, told reporters, it is in everyone's interest for nuclear powers to discuss with each other directly how to reduce nuclear risks and how to avoid miscalculation. Wood considered this very worrying, adding, as long as China does not sit down with the United States bilaterally, 
the risk of a destructive arms race will continue to grow, and it will not be in anyone's interest. The diplomat pointed out that China claims to be a responsible nuclear power, and that its very, very small arsenal is for defensive purposes only, but when you see a lot of what China does, you find that it contradicts what it says. The Defense Arab newspaper headlined China launched 11 ballistic missiles around Taiwan, including DF-15 and DF-16. According to information published on the Twitter account of the Taiwanese Ministry of Defense on August 4, 2022, the Chinese armed forces launched several DF ballistic missiles into Taiwanese waters northeast and southwest of Taiwan, including DF-15 and DF-16 ballistic missiles. Citing information from the Taiwanese Ministry of Defense, the missiles landed in the northeast and southwest of the island. In accordance with previously designated exclusion zones, and did not pose any threat to the public. Taiwan views the Chinese missile launches as a threat to maritime operations. The Chinese Armed Forces Military Exercise Area is 28 kilometers, 15 nautical miles, from Kaohsiung Port, Taiwan's largest and busiest seaport. Japan said on August 4, 2022, that five of the ballistic missiles launched by China were believed to have landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone, EZ. This was the first time that Chinese ballistic missiles had landed in Japan's EEZ, which extends up to 200 nautical miles, 370 kilometers. From the country's coast, outside the limits of its territorial waters. According to open source military information, among the 11 Chinese ballistic missiles launched on August 4 were the DF-15 but also a new version of the DF-16. DF-15 China has fired 11 ballistic missiles around Taiwan, including DF-15 and DF-16. China has fired 11 ballistic missiles around Taiwan, including DF-15 and DF-16. The DF-15 is a short-range, road-mobile ballistic missile from the Chinese-made Dongfeng DF missile family. It was first unveiled at the 1988 Beijing Defense Expo and entered service with the Chinese Armed Forces in 1995. The DF-15 CSS-6 is a single-stage, solid-fueled, mobile missile. The vertically launched, 9.1 meter long missile has a range of 200 to 600 kilometers. It carries a payload of 500 kilograms of high explosive, he, or a nuclear warhead, and a CEP, circular error probable, of about 280 meters. The DF-16 is a short range, medium range ballistic missile from the Chinese made Dongfeng missile family. It was first unveiled during a military event in Beijing, on September 3, 2015. The DF-16 is a two-stage, solid-fuel ballistic missile with a maximum range of 800 to 1,000 kilometers. The second stage has maneuvering fins at the base of the second, upper, stage, allowing the DF-16 to make flight corrections to hit targets with greater accuracy. The DF-16 can carry one to three warheads with conventional high-explosive explosives, nuclear warheads, or cluster munitions. From 500 to 1,000 kilograms. The newspaper Sky News Arabia titled Threatens U.S. Forces Details of the Chinese Military Nightmare the American magazine National Interest described the long-range ballistic missiles possessed by China as a military nightmare that threatens U.S. forces. The famous magazine said that the Chinese missile arsenal threatens American bases, facilities and assets throughout the Pacific. It explained that the Chinese DF-21D and DF-26 missiles are of interest to American forces, considering that they are weapons with various explosives and long-range precision guidance systems. 
The national interest indicated that these missiles pose a new threat to the American presence in Guam, South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan, as they are located within close range of one of these missiles. For example, the distance from Beijing and Tokyo is about 2,000 kilometers, which is within the range of the DF-26 targets. The American magazine stressed the need for the United States to pay attention to efforts to develop and test new weapons and advanced forms of missile defense. In this regard, General Jeffrey Harijan, commander of U.S. forces in Europe and Africa, said, we need to be able to manage targets and track where we are in terms of finding targets and engaging and communicating at all levels. The Arab Defense website newspaper headlined, China expands the range of DF-100 supersonic missiles to 4,000 kilometers to carry out strategic strikes. On November 17, 2024, the Chinese account C Major provided updated data on the Chinese supersonic cruise missile Dongfeng-100 DF-100, also known as Changjian-100 CJ-100. The missile is a ground-based system with a range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers and a sustained flight speed of Mach 4. It is designed for precision strikes and features capabilities to target various types of facilities and structures. The DF-100 was publicly introduced during the 70th anniversary celebrations of the founding of the People's Republic of China on October 1, 2019. At the time, it was reported to have a range of 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers, with a speed of Mach 4 to 5. The system is capable of engaging targets such as ground facilities, reinforced structures, underground bunkers, and large naval vessels. It can be deployed in pairs on a 10 by 10 transporter launcher, TEL, vehicle and can also be launched from an H-6K bomber. New information suggests that the missile's range has been improved to 4,000 kilometers while maintaining a sustained flight speed of Mach 4. The DF-100 operates at supersonic speeds for most of its flight and follows a trajectory that takes it to altitudes of over 30 kilometers. This flight profile reduces atmospheric drag but increases vulnerability to radar detection. Its guidance system includes inertial navigation, terrain matching, scene matching, and satellite positioning, providing high accuracy. This combination allows the missile to engage both stationary and moving targets, including slow-moving naval vessels. The DF-100 specifications include a length of over 9 meters, a projectile diameter of between 0.7 and 1 meter, and a payload capacity of over 500 kilograms. The missile is powered by a ramjet engine and achieves speeds of up to Mach 5 during its terminal phase. Its three-stage operation includes an initial boost phase using a solid rocket motor, a cruise phase at altitudes of 30 to 40 kilometers, and a final glide phase. The glide phase involves high-speed maneuvering, enhancing its ability to evade defenses and engage moving targets. In 2020, Reports from the U.S. Air Force's China Aerospace Research Institute identified the DF-100 as part of the 656th Brigade of the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force in Shandong Province. Its minimum effective range is 2,000 kilometers, putting Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, and the northern Philippines within its operational range. The missile is assessed to have reached full operational capability by 2022. The DF-100 has been highlighted as a concern in Taiwanese defense assessments. In October 2023, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense told the Legislative Council that the missile could impact regional security by limiting allies' access to surrounding seas.